Hey everyone, welcome back. So, yeah, today we are looking at some more creepy videos, so let's go. So, am I tripping? Or, okay, so the noise is my turtle. And I'm home alone, right? But, the reflection shows. Like, that's me. I think a lot of you guys also feel like our timelines are messed up because so many people were shocked to know that Eminem and Picasso were alive at the same time. But there are so many more of these weird overlaps and I could truly do this forever. And a quick reminder that if you love the spooky and dark, you'll love the podcast. You made us number 12 on the charts. First up, Oprah, Einstein, also alive at the same time. Barbara Walters, Anne Frank, and Martin Luther King were all born in the same year. Joe Biden was actually born closer to Lincoln's second inauguration than to his own. The last dodo bird sighting happened after the witch trials had already started in the United States. If he wanted to, Van Gogh could have drank a Coca-Cola while he painted. Nintendo was also a year old when Van Gogh died. And lastly, when Harvard was founded, they didn't offer calculus because calculus had not been invented yet. <laughs> No. Belgian Malinois, they're fucking scary little meat missiles. And they look at you like this. Yeah. They're always thinking. And you can't just keep one of those motherfuckers in your yard. First of yeah. all, they climb fences. They just go right up the fence and over yeah. it. They run, jump off a guy's back, and then leap through the air. Like, climb over walls that are, like, 10 feet tall. Look at him running up the fucking wall. I mean, he's basically a monkey. Look, he's running up a fucking tree to get to a mitt, and then he's hanging on it. Look how smart they are. Look, you can walk across the type of and then saying they're basically an athlete wolf. Five superstitions you should probably know about. Never go straight home after a funeral, or if you've come from a graveyard, you need to stop somewhere else first. Do not have a welcome sign or mat at your front door. You really never know who you are inviting into your home. Never whistle in your home past 18. Stay around. Someone will whistle back. Do not sleep with a mirror facing you. You are being watched. Ooh. Never say the devil's name in your home. He can hear you. Have you ever stopped to wonder if our phones are actually spying on us? Well, wonder no more. A couple of months ago, Bree Thomason found out through an infrared camera accidentally that our iPhones are taking invisible pictures of us every five seconds. Check this out. Wild and crazy Friday night findings. We just discovered, which we already knew, that your phone, and iPhone specifically, takes an infrared picture of you with your face ID every five-ish seconds. And we looked at it through an infrared camera, and it's pretty wild. Let's show you. Okay, have your home screen. It's on home screen. Not touching anything. No buttons. Okay, infrared lens on the camera. Boom, there was one. Two. <laughs> That's so wild. Okay, cover the camera. Oh, there was another one. Okay. Nothing. Oh, it's trying. It's taking pictures of your finger. Okay, move your finger. Ready? Boom. This is something that we can't see with the naked eye. However, with an infrared camera, we can. So a lot of people are testing it out. It became 
became a viral sensation and there are thousands, countless of videos of people trying to stay out with their infrared cameras. And well, news stations started trying to explain this, Apple released an official note, and apparently what they're saying is that this is an aspect of the iPhone. It has to do with Face ID and an emoji. However, internet users were baffled and confused, and so am I. Because if this does has to have to do with Face ID, why does it take these invisible pictures every five seconds and not all the time? How does this thing work? Doesn't make sense, does it? Hmm. So my bestie and I usually go out on the water and we're used to it. This time, actually, my kayak got a slow leak, so we had to uh, stop on this random rock. But little did we freaking know, we were actually being stalked by a pod of orcas. I'm not even kidding you. Not only was my kayak slowly leaking, there was about six orcas following us, and we had no idea. I mean, a scary reality is if we didn't actually get out of the water at this point of time, and onto a rock, I don't know what would have happened if we were still in the water. for this story as it left me speechless. Hi, my name is Ethan, and here's everything you need to know in under one minute. This is 56-year-old Billy Davis. On the evening of January 11th, 2023, she was riding the Bloomington Transit bus when an 18-year-old girl had got out of her seat to exit. Out of nowhere, Billy got up and then began beating and stabbing the 18-year-old girl in the head. As soon as it started, it stopped. Billy then got off the bus and walked away. Thankfully, one of the passengers on the bus did follow Billy and eventually called authorities to let them know where her location was this is the part that really enraged me once in custody she told police that she wanted to unalive the victim due to her quote being chinese as it would be one less person to blow up the country end quote according to reports she is now facing up to life in prison for attempted murder something big hey, ate this whale on a pod of i'm counting about six whales that i've seen so far headed north hey there big bird what's shaking the Caribbean's great this time of year. Spin on around and we'll go share. Whoa! Aww. What's up? The... All right, it's pretty intense. But what exactly was it? That's the question. To give us more insight into that video, we welcome via satellite the man who actually shot it, Jake Skelton, coming to us live from his latest adventures along the Amalfi Coast. Mr. Skelton, welcome. Hey, how you doing? First, give us a little background. What was going on at the time that footage was shot? You know, a buddy and I had been wanting to do a transocean trip. So we charted a route from the Canary Islands to Martinique in early November when you can ride the trains across the Atlantic. All right. So tell us about this night. What exactly were you doing? Okay, it was our fourth night at sea. I was above deck while my shipmate was napping in the galley. The moon was about a quarter full, and I spotted some whales off the stern, and I decided to film them. Uh, if I may, uh, sure. even in the moonlight, you can see um, from uh, the, the shape of their large round foreheads that these are sperm whales. Uh, now, these guys get up to about 60 feet long, uh, just in case you're wondering about the scale here. All right, let's take a look at that footage again. The Caribbean's great this time of year. Spin on around and we'll go share. Whoa! 
Honestly, my reaction to this, it's hard stopping, but I can't tell what it is. Mr. Skelton, do you have any idea what you just saw? No, no. I mean, I could guess, but there was no way to know for sure. Um... Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh hope you enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow.